In a monumental show of teamwork, all hands on deck this morning launching the nearly 80 boats racing in today's Modern Stars division. It is a spectacular morning here on Long Island Sound, a fitting tribute to the first 100 years of star class sailing. Also a beautiful beginning for Century 2. On the water today, Reynolds, McCausland, Bieschel, and Von Schwartz, some top names in star class sailing. But would they be at the top of their game without Bill Buchan? Starboats have been a huge part of his life, uh, and, and kind of like he alluded to, not just racing them, but uh, building them, designing uh, boats that other people have built, uh, built sails for a while, and he's been involved in the class on the technical committee and class officer, yeah. I think, probably, yeah. and stuff. So, so certainly he's, you know, gotten a lot from the star and given a lot to it as well. At 13 years old, he and his dad built the first star that Bill ever raced. Though extremely humble, it's been a rewarding lifetime passion. My, my strength, whatever, was largely because I think I was a little bit ahead of my time in creating a faster boat. You know, people would look at my boats and say, well, that's a piece of crap. But if they looked at the keel, they looked at the rig, it was perfect. Two Olympic golds, multiple world and national championships, success for the Buchan family spans generations. I think we're the only father-son that won gold medals in two different disciplines in the history of the Olympic Games. I've, I've heard that, you know. All right, so we're the answer to a trivia question. <laughs> the Buckins and others are in the water today, some for sentimental reasons, but don't underestimate the competitive spirit of a star racer. Olympic hopeful Mark Struby says, a lot of good guys in the star class, but it is physical. It definitely requires some physical, some stamina. Um, if you look at the guys this year, the guys that are doing really well, uh, Robert Scheidt's probably one of the best athletes that you know, is in the star cl class right now. And you know, when you watch him go upwind, his shoulders are below his hips, you know, a majority of the upwind beat, and he's, he's dominating over there. And it's just kind of showing you know, just how physical the boat is. Early starts under the black flag in race two sent 10 boats back to the dock this afternoon. Those early starts and wind shifts both played a part in today's final results. The centennial celebration continues tomorrow for day two of Modern Star Racing.